I don't get why station wagons haven't caught on in India. They basically take all of the Indian criteria like loads of space, can haul basically the whole village and well, they look really cool. We have estates in India like the V90 and the E-Class All Train, but this has to be the OG. This is a Mark 1 VRS, but it's not any Mark 1 VRS. It's a Combi. Combi in Skoda nomenclature stands for the estate version. And today I am going to tell you about this super rare car in detail. Station wagons go a long way back into the history books of cars. The name station wagon or estate cars comes from the purpose these cars used to fulfill back in the day. These cars were used to make daily runs between railway stations and country estates carrying passengers and their luggage. So estate vehicles begin life as commercial vehicles. With the passage of time and cars evolving into more than just a fundamental people's carrier, station wagons also for many evolved into a life essential. Station wagons with its attributes of two box configuration with an elongated rear cabin for storage and the convenience of a sedan are a must have for some of the western urban families for decades now. Back in the day when the Octavia was launched, the power figures were super impressive and this block was essentially what got people interested in the Octi in the first place. A 1.8 litre turbocharged petrol engine which churned out approximately 150 bhp and a peak torque figure of 210 Nm. The front wheel drive estate was mated to a 5 speed manual gearbox and you can just imagine the joy of driving a powerful car with a stick shift manual transmission. It was one of the first cars to get 5 valves per cylinder and the people loved it. The love for this 1.8T engine hasn't been lost because even to this day, this thing has tons of aftermarket support and as the title suggests, this thing has been boosted up all the way to stage 2, complete with a Garrett intercooler, a diverter valve, a massive intake system, a 3-inch full system exhaust and a Code 6 stage 2 tune with anti-lag. So basically, you can have 5 of your mates sitting inside the car and you can still smoke a Polo GT TSI off the line. And the anti-lag on this car is basically deafening. Have a listen. The Combi VRS looks almost identical from the front compared to its sedan sibling. You get the same looks as the sedan, you get the aggressive VRS bumper but this VRS bumper has a little bit of a different detail which not a lot of VRSs in India have. You see these gills over here on the side, not all VRSs in India got that and even if they have, it's mostly a custom local job whereas this bumper has been specifically imported from Europe for this car and that little detail looks absolutely amazing and apparently it was a super expensive option when the Mark 1 VRS had come out. Coming down to the side, you have these amazing looking 18 inch uh, silver wheels from AVA and this has to be one of my most favorite specs uh, considering a Mark 1 VRS regardless of it being uh, a combi or even a normal sedan. I think this thing just looks the part and once you shift down over here to the rear, you'll see that extended bodywork. That's because this is of course the combi and you get tons and tons of boot space once you open up the rear hatch. This thing is so practical that I reckon if you can fit five of your mates in this car, throw in a weekend full of luggage, you can have an amazing road trip with this thing. That's how practical this car is. Practicality might be one thing, but the Mark 1 VRS isn't known to be the most reliable car around because of things like hoses going bad, timing issues and many more things. Yes, it might sound like a great proposition, but beware that these things can turn into money pits very quickly if you don't know what you're doing. This car is more than 15 years old now, so keep that in mind. But if kept properly, these cars are some of the best analog performance cars you can buy in India. In fact, this particular car is on sale on TDH classifieds. We in fact have two very clean Mark 1 VRSs for sale, one in Mumbai and one in Hyderabad, including this beautiful Combi VRS from Mumbai. 
Want to know more? Click the link in the description. Let's just take a moment and appreciate the way this car has been maintained. The interior is immaculate. I don't think I've seen a Mark 1 VRS with such a clean interior. And I just love the way these seats look with the tartan uh, finishing on top. Moreover, each and every panel in this car basically works. I mean, just look at the glove box. It's so clean. I don't think I've seen a glove box that clean in a Mark 1 VRS. Uh, coming on to the instrument cluster, again, super clean. And I just love the way these Mark 1 VRS steering wheels look. It's a no-nonsense steering wheel. You just have the steering wheel and the horn. That's it. Moreover, this thing also has uh, a sunroof, which is fully functional. Most Mark 1 VRS sunroofs do not work, but this thing has been maintained so well that it's a proper functioning sunroof. Then you have cruise control as well. Insane to have a cruise control module in a car that was built back in 2004-2005. And you have some other aftermarket stuff going on inside the car. You have an air fuel ratio gauge over here. You have a voltmeter over there by AEM. And you have this Pioneer uh, infotainment system over here in the middle. But I think so, the main charm for this car is when you're behind the wheel. So let's just do just that. the Mark 1 Combi VR as well. It's not your nimble little Mark 1 sedan that everyone's used to. This is a long, long car. And you can clearly see it once you look into the rear view mirror over here because that back glass is far, far away. It's like it's in a different country altogether. But how is this thing to drive? Well, first of all, it's a little tough to maneuver over here in the tight streets of Andheri in Bombay. But it's an analog feeling car. You can definitely feel the rawness in the power. The way this thing wants to just shift is just different compared to any other modern car that you'll be driving nowadays. And I'm a little scared because I don't want to get in trouble with the Mexico City, Mexico City cops over here. Because yeah, this thing can create a racket if it wants to. But how is this thing once you start putting your foot down? Well, it's as raw and as analog as it gets. And the sounds that this engine makes, well, no EA 888 of the modern generation can make these sort of noises. And this engine is pre-TSI era. This is the 1.8T engine. And yeah. Yeah, this thing just screams, screams analog. I just love the way this thing drives. And I love this steering wheel. It's so mechanical feeling. You can literally feel each and everything that's going on underneath the wheels. If there's a small undulation in the road, you can instantly feel it in the steering wheel. And then come the brakes. It has upgraded brakes and stomp on them. Yep, it definitely stops. And the relationship that you have with this car because of the manual transmission, because the way this car has been built, no other car from the modern era can really replicate that in today's day and time. <laughs> and the pops and bangs, it's madness, absolute madness. And the best part is that this car is so practical that this is the perfect weekend machine for a bunch of car enthusiasts who want to do a road trip to a city nearby because let's be honest I don't think anyone has the confidence of taking this on a properly long road trip because it's a Mark 1. Vacuum hoses and a lot of other problems really make this car a little bit difficult to trust when it comes to all these longer journeys. So yeah, for a short weekend machine, I think so this with the lads is one of the best little shouts that you can have because you can literally fit in a village worth of luggage in the back of this car. And this stage 2 tune is so aggressive. Once you hit the boost of this car, which is around 2,500-3,000 RPM, this thing just wheel spins off into the distance. That's how powerful this car is. Yeah, this is one of my one of my 
bucket list cars if I ever have to own something because I want to own an estate and finding estates in India is hard in general and well this thing ticks all of the boxes that I want it's a petrol it's a turbo car it looks super nice and it's an estate ticks all of the boxes for me all in all this Marco and VRS combi has to be one of the coolest builds ever that I've seen on this channel because first of all it's super rare you don't find these cars anymore especially in such a good condition this car is immaculate like no stone has been left unturned and that's why it's running so well and like I've said this car is on sale on TDH classified so if you're interested in buying this particular car head on over to TDH classifieds right now because I don't think you're going to find a cleaner example for a VRS Combi in India currently. So definitely check it out on our website. Till then, comment down below what you think about this uh, Mark 1 VRS Combi. Would you have it or would you rather spend your money on a different car? Comment all of that down below. Subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you in the next one.